Hello there, this is Earth, the planet in which we live on. Why not? It's the only habitable place in this entire galaxy. So naturally, we're supposed to take care of it. Lately, however, there's this topic called global warming that's been spreading amongst the nation lately. We're supposed to get caught on with this, but there seems to be too many people stubborn enough to think it doesn't exist because it does. People, especially climate change deniers, love it when you prove them wrong. So if someone says they don't believe in global warming, try saying the following things. If you're lucky, they'll start using their brains and catch on that climate change is a real thing happening in this day and age. Here's the first thing. Stanley? Stanley? Fine, we get Gladys to explain the first comment then. I also hate that Florida is above water. Establishing common ground is crucial to a healthy discourse. Now the second. And would you prefer that as a check or a wire transfer, Senator? This one works on most Congress people too. I wouldn't advise it though. I'm not the one to start debates here. The earth that was- I said no debates. Think of your children, if you like any of them. Urge them to consider a future in which their middle child who's pretty decent is constantly suffering. We better move from this quickly, as Google is spying on this video as we speak. God knows what broken copyright law laws they have in store for us. The thought gets worse when you realize they own half of Universal Music Group. If sea levels rise, thousands of New Yorkers could relocate to your hometown. Let them know that wildfires and heat waves aren't the only horrific side effects of climate change. Harvey Keitel believes in climate change. Yes, the same person who starred in Sister Act and Little Nicky. Major corporations have been working so hard to dump pollutants into the sea and sky and they deserve to be recognized for their labor. Imagine how they feel, their years of passionate toil being ignored. But again, corporations don't have feelings. All they do is last on the next company or make it so they can milk said company dry to make the quick buck while dumping trash all over the Atlantic Ocean while making a million first gay characters to contrast on a bill they once supported back at the beginning of June. I'm looking at you, Disney. I have some beachfront property you might be interested in. Climate change deniers are the perfect people to dump your quickly disappearing beachfront property onto. I think I'm falling for you. Before you win over their brain, you need to win their heart. And to the ones who are too busy playing Genshin Impact to touch grass, we are very sorry for your loss. Tell me the truth, off the record. Only after you make this disclaimer can Exxon Mobil see who Doran would freely discuss the many horrors this company created. The sun is angry and is being mean to the glaciers. If you feel them losing interest in the conversation, break things down into the simplest terms possible. Bite. Why stress when you know humanity won't get their act together in time? Moving on. Well, you've always hated Earth. Remind them that their long-standing grudge against the planet has probably clouded their judgment. An evil mage cast an Earth-hating spell. If facts and scientific journals aren't enough, try this to get them on board. Just roll a good d20. Some of my best friends are melting glaciers. They might reconsider their stance knowing your loved ones are affected by their beliefs. I've personally dumped enough toxic waste into the ocean to make an irreversible impact. Providing evidence of your heinous acts of pollution might convince them it's real. This is factual evidence that people are made of plastic. Do you think the day after tomorrow would have been the six highest grossing film of the 2000s if there wasn't a ring of truth to it? Emmy Russell wasn't even famous at that point, so they won't be able to pin that on her. Oh uh, yeah, trick to was a thing. You said cats didn't exist, but then I showed you one. Kindly remind them they were wrong once before. There's overwhelming scientific consensus supporting climate change. Need I say more? Climate change is going to disproportionately impact wealthy people in developed countries. Hearing this upsetting claim may rouse concern in even the toughest deniers. And here's my personal favorite. You should switch to QAnon. I think you'd have more fun. Be careful though, you'll start reminding them that a holiday where crime is legal for 12 continuous hours is a good idea. This has been what to say to someone who denies climate change. Oh, and if none of those comments have any effect on the climate change deniers, just show them the current time on the doomsday clock. Nailed it!